So, Graham. Yeah. Now, you know, I know you first as a DJ. And then, of course, we, we worked uh, a Pan-African Space Station together. Yeah. And you, you're one of these muckety-mucks at the, the great literary magazine, Chimaranga. Muckety-mucks. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. The great liter Southern African, well, the African literary I'll, magazine, Chimaranga. I'll add that to my repertoire. <laughs> DJ slash marketing <laughs> But I really want to tell, because you, you did something, um, as, you know, as an audience, well, you did something for, for us. Uh, we, we published a magazine called IA out of the uh, Cape Codes uh, Audio Drama Experience. That's and then, yeah, yeah. then part of that, we, uh, part of the magazine, we wanted to train uh, uh, young people how to be illustrators uh, yeah. or comic artists, however you want to say it. Yeah. And you ran a very important workshop for us. It was really, really, really good. In fact, if you ever get IA2, you'll, you'll pitch you with the people who's in that, you know? Oh, that's right, yeah. That's yeah. right. But, you know, people... One of, of course, my, one of my comments is in it. Yeah, um, yeah that's right. And yeah. the, the, so the thing is, though, if people got it, because the way when you publish in South Africa, there's in those, those some official libraries, so people can always get it. Don't, yeah. don't worry about that part. Look, so I want to talk to you actually about illustration. Um, I guess I can do the regular... Let me do the regular normal thing. Uh, when did you start this? I mean, what, 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 I assume it, 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 as a child, were you sheltered? Or in, in, where, 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 are you, where are you from? Like Cape, everybody thinks from Cape Flats. But where are you from? I mean, that, that you started this. Uh, start your illustration. Sure. Okay. Where are you from? It's such a tricky question. Mm. Such a tricky question. Mm. Um, I can make it more specific for you if you want. No, it's okay. I'm a marketing mark. I should be able to answer this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Well, I mean, geographically, as in where was I born? I yeah. was born in a, in a suburb called Grassy Park. Oh, yeah, I know Cape, Grassy Park. Cape Town, South Africa. Mm. Um, at the time, it was one of the uh, group areas for so-called so -called colored people. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, I mean, in, in the context of, of apartheid, you know, your entire life is sort of uh, sculpted by, by that. Mm -hmm. Or that at least they wanted to be sculpted by that so that you can fit into, into their category. Into their mm -hmm. thing. So part, part of this is also that you, you then end up just socializing within that, that sort of community and that group. Mm -hmm. um, because the schools that you go to were also segregated. Mm -hmm. So you, naturally that's, that's where you learn to be making your friends and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and at school, I was, I was very fortunate to attend a, a primary school which uh, had a, uh, which had a, a, a connection with mm -hmm. a local art school mm -hmm. called Batsud Art School. Mm -hmm. So every, from, from, uh, from uh, what, do we, what do we now, grade, from grade three, so was, was how were you about nine, ten? Well, how... Yeah, I would have been nine, mm. nine years old, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, eight years old. Eight, eight, yeah. Eight. So from grade three at eight years old, um, every uh, depending on, on on which grade you were in, either every Thursday or every Friday, you would have art classes mm. at a particular time of the day. Mm. So I mean, at that point, it was when it was nurtured within some type of sort of formal structure. Mm. But prior to that, um, my my mother is well. Both my mother and my father. Um, my mother, in terms of, of, of giving the space and allowing one to, to express and and this this idea of, of, of DIY of doing for yourself. Mm -hmm. So a lot of a lot of that influence influence or a lot of her attitude towards. Um, just one's daily endeavor. So if you're giving a birthday card, you know, mm -hmm. you always have money to give birthday cards, mm -hmm. you can make a birthday card. Right. You know? She's a dressmaker by, by trade. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of that sort of filters through. Mm -hmm. From my father's side, um, this is one very, very, very uh, vivid memory I have in my mind being at my grandparents' place. Every Friday we'd go to my grandparents' uh, house. Where were they at? So that was in Weinberg, uh, okay. also in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. um, our grandparents on my from my mother's side. Mm -hmm. We gather in the evening. You know, everybody's coming from work. Um, 
then myself, my brother, my uncles and my father, my grandfather mm. would take a walk up to the local fish shop, mm. get the fish and the chips mm. uh, and any other sundries, mm. come down and we all have mm. a, a family meal. Mm. And I remember on one of these Fridays as we were leaving, um, I saw my father slip into the front room, mm. which was sort of like a sitting room, mm -hmm. um, and sort of slip out again. And as he slips out, I look in and I see this little note uh, left on this on the table. Mm. So I go over to it and I unfold the notes, being the curious child that I am. Mm. And on it is a snail mm. with its two eyes mm. drawn, mm -hmm. hand drawn snail, mm -hmm. which my father had drawn, uh, with his two eyes sort of yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. You know, prominent eyes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And in Afrikaans, he had written Chelur no. Chelur no. Chelur no. Yeah, what are you looking at? Oh. Basically, because of the eye. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 that for me stuck in my head mm. so, yo, man, that, that's etched in here. Mm. I can remember the page to see everything. Mm. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the smell. <laughs> <laughs> but those, so those, those are two, two sort of very, very strong influences on, mm -hmm. on getting me on this journey of, of being able to just express myself um, in ways that I felt comfortable and competent with, you know, mm -hmm. never been held back on it. Um, so, I mean, the Battered Arts and School, besides being a primary school, they also had Saturday classes and my mom would register, had registered me for Saturday classes. There was mm -hmm. one point where in winter it clashed with football mm -hmm. and... Football uh, me soccer. Soccer, yeah, so, sorry yeah. for the... No, I'm sorry. No, you're right, you're people right. People across the Atlantic. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's soccer. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, and having to choose. And I, I was given the choice, actually. Mm. I was given the choice to, and this is I'm mean, like, like the yeah. choice by your mother or your father, uh, or by both. my mother. Okay. Yeah. My father was very sort of just a very quiet type of person, so a lot of these decisions are, are mm. coming from my mother. Mm. Um, and I was I was given the choice, mm. you know, you decide what you want to do, mm. and of course I chose the art classes. Uh, of course. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so from from a very young age, it's been it's been nurtured. Um, mm. And I, I was very aware of my ability to, to render things in, in drawing. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I mean, you know, there's so many things that, that influence this, yeah. you know, and, and, and sort of bring it to the fore. But I think the most vital thing is being given that space mm -hmm. and being given the, the confidence mm. to, to put that pen or pencil, whatever it is, to page. Uh, to be able to express yourself and being nurtured, you know, for this and not being shut down. I think that was that for me is the important. This is what gets me gets me on my way. Besides the fact that also, I know in my grandmother's house there was a, a this, an uncle of mine who had um, taken his own life. It was a very close friend of my mother's. I find out in years mm -hmm. later, but he had left behind. He was a, he was a sketch artist, oh. and he left behind this thick sketchbook. And my brother and I would go through that every single time. When you say sketchbook, it was his own sketch. His own sketchbook. Okay. His own sketchbook. Mm -hmm. um, pencil, watercolor, watercolor, ink. Oof! Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. And I mean, we we basically we we paged through that until the papers were falling apart. Mm. How 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 how? Your brother younger, older? Than you? My brother's older. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, my brother also had uh, had an inclination towards um, um, uh, sort of visual mm. visual arts mm. creation, mm. Um, but he was also a lot more uh, physically active and sporty than I was. So he followed the the soccer career. However, mm. in, in his tertiary education, he did graphic design, mm. uh, but he didn't follow through on it. Mm. Um, on the other hand, I uh, having not had the opportunity. Uh, financial at mm -hmm. least mm -hmm. to, to, to pursue mm -hmm. tertiary education mm -hmm. within graphics or within the visual arts mm -hmm. I took it upon myself and this is again coming back to my mother's influence it's like mm -hmm. you know just because those opportunities are there doesn't mean you cannot get that same education you cannot mm -hmm. you know inform yourself you cannot do the thing for yourself so I mean post post uh, my secondary education I was mm -hmm. I was consuming all of this like how do you draw comics I was mm -hmm. really fascinated by it comics, you know, it was just leading consumer as much as I could, wherever I could. Uh, those were the early days of the internet, so it was the mm -hmm. internet cafe, find these websites, and copy it into a Word document and print mm -hmm. the entire thing out. So mm -hmm. I have this whole stash, I still have in my studio stash mm -hmm. of all these sort of website articles on mm -hmm. how to how to draw and, and all of that. That sort of took me 
further on my on my journey as an illustrator and as a comic artist. Now, did you have like a, when well, you said sketchbook, do you have any kind of thing, not doodling, but, but did you always like like be on a bus and sketch somebody or whatever, that kind of thing, you know? Um, in my in my memory, not necessarily on the bus or in public spaces. I never liked that. Mm. I still don't. Mm. Um, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing because when I'm done with something, of course, it has to be out in public, but it's also a very private thing for me. Mm. Especially the process and the creation. The, the, okay, the, yeah, okay. yeah, it's a very private thing for me. So I, I don't. I tried it once. Fuck, mm. I hated it. Because mm. everybody would come staring over your shoulder. I said, uh, oh, is that what you're drawing? Mm -hmm. you know, I said, oh, really? Oh, that's a, oh, Why don't you? You know, you should go here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, I mean, yeah, that yeah, also yeah. just like yeah. turned you off completely. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would, I would, I would do, do the mm. sketchbook that I told you about of my my deceased. Um, Uncle mm -hmm. had our doodles in it as well, mm -hmm. um, our modifications to his drawings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Did I you mean, still have uh, that book? Yeah, man. I actually asked my mother the other day where, where it is. I think it's somewhere in storage somewhere. Oh no, no, Mister. As long as you got it, this yeah, this I'm is sure this is yeah. Because you know you blow you blow, look. I, it's not just your. Well, I want to talk about illustration, but you are. A, I want to say it this way. I'm sorry to say it this way. A true artist. So at some particular point. They're gonna to try to find that sketchbook and see what you started at. You know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah, yeah. maybe I'm just. I hope they don't. <laughs> <laughs> I remember having this conversation with mm. Carlo Mombelli, this uh, multi-instrumentalist, also self-taught, mm. also self-taught, mm. and he says he wishes that when he passes, mm. nobody finds those alternate takes, those things that he's shoved away that he didn't produce for public performance. Because that's exactly what it is. It's mm. something that wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, mm -hmm. So that's why I say, like, okay, I hope they don't, because some of those things, it's not ready. Yeah. Well, for, well, for public consumption. Yeah, but, but okay, so, so how did you. Okay, let's say you have a style. How did you, how, how did you begin to develop your style? When did you know you had a style? Let's put it that way. Sure. Mm. I, don't, I don't think there's any, like, epiphany you have this, ah, oh, I have a style. Mm. You know, you just. At least my process mm. was just looking at other comic artists, how they drew, and then you, you mimic. Yeah. yeah, a lot of it comes, or at least with, for me, and I've I've read quite a few other uh, artists, and, uh, illustrators, and that have also started out, you know, in the earlier years, um, mimicking artists that they th liked. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the 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 advancement or the development though is not to stick with that mm. so you you find multiple multiple sort of um, sources oh sure sure you you, know, you, you, you evolve yeah, you you know, you, yeah, yeah and then sometimes you take and you mix and match and you put mm -hmm. things together um to 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 the point i mean like you know my my first like comics mm. that i drew for example the 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 style was a lot like uh charles schultz mm. oh, uh, yeah. peanuts, peanuts yeah. charlie brown uh, and if you look, I mean, if you look at myself now, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's Are you going to say you look like Charlie Brown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can kick the football. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, people might not know. Look, look Graham and I know a lot, a lot, but, you know, in Cape Town, whatever, everybody, everybody's a comedian critic, and they're always trying to bust each other's chops. That's all I'm saying. I, it slipped out. I apologize. Like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Form of your mama. Yeah. Um, I mean, and if you look at my style now, compared to, compared to that, yeah, that's know, what I'm saying, yeah. there's a vast, vast, of vast course, difference. Of course. And I, I would say, in terms of style, it's only in the past, I'd say, in the past six or seven years. Oh, so in, in other words, six or seven years that I've that I feel I've developed my style. That okay, if I look at that, or somebody else who knows me and knows my work, looks at that, can say, that is great. Okay, six, six or seven years. Let's go back to PASS, you know, Pan yeah. African Space Station. How, yeah. long, how long ago was that? PASS was 2008 to 2010, so, in terms of the festivals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, oh, the, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the Booklet, she had to, oh, no, oh, no, no, stop, stop, stop. You're, you're not, you're not going to get off with this. <laughs> my thing, the 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 because okay. we had the little booklets yeah, and the, yeah, and the yeah, illustration yeah. that the sorry, the, the sorry, parent sorry, was, sorry, was sorry. so 
unbelievably distinct, but no, it's so clear. It was so clean. It was so, yes, distinct, unique. All those kinds of words. It was amazing. You have you were drawn to the. My apologies. To, to the, my apologies. It wouldn't be six or seven years then. Mm. No, 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 no. It's much longer than that. Mm. Much longer than that. I mean, really, yeah, it, that so, someone someone looking at would say, "This is a master illustrator." I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not stroke. You you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no? yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. That was two thousand. I hear and I hear too. Yeah. That was two thousand and nine, two thousand and ten. Yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before no, before the World Cup came. And all yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, saying, no, quite quite correct, quite yeah. correct. Sorry, my six or seven years is way off. Let me yeah. tell you what's happening. See, yeah. I got gray hair coming out, right? This man got gray hair, and what that means is that your gray matter starts leaking out of yourself, and and you forget, you just don't know what's That's going on. Okay. <laughs> 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 We're trying to keep the intelligence on the on the head somehow. I got you. I understand. But go ahead. I'm yeah. Gonna, so yeah. yeah. I mean, it's 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 easy. That's that's what like over ten years, mm. 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because I remember prior to prior to a year two, I'd been doing work with uh, Peace Tram. That's right, well. that's right. That's right. That's right. Well, with those kids. Yes, but that's, that's but that's, that's a teaching that's thing. Fifteen years ago. Right? But that's a teaching. You are an excellent teacher. And again, I'm not stroking. You don't know. You know all this stuff. You have some sort of weird, not weird. I'm sorry, sort of patience. And uh, uh, I guess you would say empathy, because the, the the kids we're dealing with, we had to deal with. They come from well, from your circumstance, you know, from our circumstance, you know, Cape Flats, a uh, township kind of thing. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but 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 continue, you know. No, no, yeah, I mean, no, I didn't have anything anything more to say. Just to, just to correct, so that's about 15, 15 years ago. Was I think when I had a particular style, but I now developed a particular style. Now, when Chimaranga, the, the Chimaranga magazine, the, um, the literary magazine came out proper, it was after Pass, no? The literary magazine was 2002. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It was, yeah, But were you involved with it then? I was, I was. Um, in the very first issue, mm -hmm. I was just doing image research. Mm -hmm. um, when did that first, my first contribution was for was for the comics issue, mm. which would have been issue number nine, Conversations in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. And that would have been around about, okay, at the time I did that. 2006? Uh, yeah, 2006. Would yeah, because, no, because I know I'm, I'm, yeah, I got yeah. that, you know, all the, all those early issues I got, yeah, yeah, got you yeah, know, yeah. okay. That would have been about 2006, yeah, mm -hmm. 2006. That's okay. when I did the Beatles. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 moving forward. Um, yeah. Move forward. Now I'm talking like an NGO. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but after all that, when uh, Chimaranga starts to really take off as a force in in, in mm -hmm. literature, mm -hmm. and now you're really involved with. I mean, what made what made the next step? And and and, and let me put it this way: Is Chimaranga is a lot of things, but. Is your style? What else do you do with Chimera except for just illustrate? Just, just, just illustrate. Do you lay it out? No, what? To, to... Well, for 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 Chimurenga, my uh, officially, I'm I'm the design editor, mm -hmm. so the graphic design on, on all the publications um, from concept to to end. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm I'm uh, responsible for. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I also do. I mean, if if needs be, and if I have the time, I would contribute. Uh, illustration, very basic illustration. Okay, okay. Yeah, because some time time was relevant. But otherwise we, we obviously we find we have a network of people that we do. Oh, oh so right, primarily right. that's what what I what I do here. But because uh Chimurenga is a mutable platform. It doesn't just work in in print. Mm. Uh, it works online as a as a publication online as well. So I'm involved slightly there in terms of just sort of updating website and keeping tabs on, on all of that. Then there's also the Online radio station, Pan African sure, Space Station. Sure. Um, so I'm involved there both physically when we have um, when we have events mm -hmm. or when we have our pop-up studios in various spaces. Mm -hmm. um, again, self-taught, very basic sound engineering. Mm -hmm. If we have events in bands here, I'm the one that's doing the technical mm -hmm. and, and on, around the gear side of things. So. Oh, I so, so that's why I got kicked out because you you know took my my my, my place, yeah, sound yeah. engineer. Yeah, I can't believe a, this. You can't be a maka maka and only do one thing. 
<laughs> Don't be a mucka mucka and only do one thing. Come on. That's why it's mucka mucka. Muck too. Otherwise, I'll just be a mucka. You're a mucka de muck. A mucka de muck. Yes. A mucka de muck. No, 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 I'm only kidding. Yeah. Um, I guess what I'm, because I wanted to stay on illustration, but this, you have two, such a vast thing. Let's, can we do this? I want to say a couple of more things I want to ask you, but, you know, I, I have to leave, and, you know, and, and I'll be back at the end of the year. Sure. We need to continue because certain people need to be chronicled. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and of course, they're not going to do it voluntarily, whatever have you. So it's got to be, be a person like me that beats on them so they say, they, oh, I got to avoid this guy. Then they can't avoid me anymore. They're, you know, they got to do their thing. But uh, just this, because I'm very interested in the, in, in the progression of illustration, but I guess right now I see you doing a layout for 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 Chimarang and all this stuff. How do? You, but but you also do art. But I don't want to go to your art right now. Mm -hmm. I mean your your prop, whatever it is. But let me go back to the beginning. That for me, if I if I tell any artist a couple of things when they start, I used to be an artist model for a long time. Two things. First of all, you need to uh, uh, do stuff around a skeleton and have have a, like a model next to a skeleton doing a pose, so you can see proportion. Yeah. But the other thing. Even if you could work with watercolor, because that's the most difficult yeah. thing. Did, did the, what kind of, that's, I guess, what that early things, what do you think really helped you, propelled you to be the, the, the master illustrator, the master artist that you are? Hmm. I'm talking about early on, because now we, we're, we're talking, a lot of people need to know how, because my child is this, my child is that, what should you do, the day, the day, you know what I'm saying? And, and, what propels and me to go what, what, to what, this? You know, what propelled you, you in the beginning? After you got... First, what, what, what medium, what medium, what mode was your basic training and then said, oh, and then you propelled from there and... Okay, so at, you know, at, at the, you know, when I had some type of formal training at mm -hmm. primary school, mm -hmm. um, they, would, they, would, they would have it across the board. So you'd mm -hmm. be doing um, acrylic... Uh, paints, mm -hmm. you'd be doing um, uh, past oil pastel, mm -hmm. uh, very, you know, to, to give you a, a taste of, of mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I, I never gravitated to any one particular, okay. uh, one particular thing, mm -hmm. because you, you must remember also outside of the art school, I don't have those resources. Of course. So mm -hmm. your, your, your choices are very much what is available to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what can I find? Mm -hmm. um, and in most cases, it's pencils and, and ballpoint pens. Mm -hmm. um, every now and then, there'll be a fine liner. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's what sort of influences me and pushes me to to, to oh, so it's, 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 it's yeah. yeah mm -hmm. You know, what the environment uh, mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. gives you to work with. Mm -hmm. um, so that's. That's also what I what I sort of gravitate towards, mm. um, and because of my, my my interest in comics and that, mm. a lot of the comics that I really liked mm. were line drawing. Mm. Um, so your Mad Mag, your early Mad magazines, mm -hmm. um, your 2080 comics. Mm -hmm. um, I know these were in color, but of course Tintin and Asterix. Mm -hmm. But the, the 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 dominant thing there was the line. You know, how the line forms, mm. you know, and what the line does. As and, much as this color yeah. in some of these, it's about the line. And that's, ah, that okay. also, that interests me. And that's where I, I placed my, my own exercise, you know, and my own efforts into is, you know, yeah. using the pen to get that line. And Eventually, yeah. I mean, in my, when I, when I leave secondary school, I get a couple of jobs and I can afford to buy materials, mm. you know, so... I haven't seen the these materials that one uses. I, mm. I purchased those materials and I saw them. Mm. So a lot of my practice then from like 18 years old onwards mm. is uh, using fine liner mm. and, and, and sort of mastering the use of, of the fine liner. Until it was around about that time of the, that Beco comic that I did when I started playing around with the pen, mm. the ink, uh, the pen. I, I, that, that I still need to. Master, and it's going to take a while. And also, recently, I've I've started with watercolor. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, how did I get started? Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> <figuring that out. laughs> so Graham, I listen to you. <laughs> you're one of the few people on the planet that I. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Most people say, oh, God. But, so, look, Graham, I'm, I know you got work to do and stuff like that. And uh, I don't want to, well, I do want to keep you. But but let, let's continue this uh, another time. But that, 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 I think you said it best when you said that line, because your lines are so clean. I did every my image of you well, is all those uh, how many were there of, of the past uh, booklets you know how many oh, years yeah, yeah 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 that was 2009 booklets yeah but but, you, but there was a lot of them no I'm wrong I did of, of each of the artists in there that's what I'm like, saying yeah. the, the drawing of the art they were so, so clean and so distinct yeah, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. you you I can't say oh, oh that's that, an interpretation right? of the art that is the, the, the artist yeah 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 yeah. I'd forgotten about that wow <laughs> This man memory, forgetting man. about everything. I can't believe this. Yeah. Okay. But look, look. This is why. This is why people like you need to do these things to stimulate our memories. <laughs> yeah. I'm moving on to the next thing. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. No. You suppose that's what artists do. You know what I mean? Okay. Look, man. Thank you for for, for taking some time out of your out, out of your work day. Pleasure, and I, I hope that Donnie won't be mad that you know, nah. I pulled you away from him. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Well, he has executive hours anyway, so pff, he won't <laughs> never know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look, um, but but you but you all are off. Um, uh, look, uh, look, the interview is over. I just got to say some, ask some basic other questions. But mm -hmm. you you traveled the world now. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you where are you off to next? Dar es Salaam. Ooh, yeah. Have a good Thursday. time there. Mm. Yeah, Thursday. yeah. Okay, and they, and they can catch your work actually at uh, the well. What's the website? Well, I mean, they can check me on my Instagram page where I post mm -hmm. most of my latest stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and that's uh, Butaji. Uh, spell it, spell it. Okay. Yeah, B, all, all, of course, lowercase. B O E T A underscore G double E. Mm -hmm. So that's my handle. Um, you can catch a glimpse of, of my more latest work that I've, I've been producing. Mm -hmm. And if you want to copper print, copper print. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ship worldwide. Pay, yeah, pay, pay. Worldwide. Pay the artists. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, man. I really Thank appreciate you. this. Thank we'll we'll continue, time. you know, uh, next year or something like that. Next All year. Right. Well, I I don't come back to South Africa until like the end of December, oh, the beginning right. of January. Like I got I got I got so much uh, man. I got yeah, so much stuff to do. Sure. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, man. I'll well, check you, man. Maybe we continue this in New York. Uh, yeah, maybe you maybe you jump up. You never know. You never know. Never know. All right, man. Go on. I check you. Thanks. Later.